these beings that were so interested in my physical body um, indicated that they had information for humanity. And I, and I looked around at my environment and I was trying to absorb everything to understand, but there were all of these machines or structures or things that, that I had never seen before, that I had no idea what they were. There were these teardrop-shaped things on stalks and all of these machines, and I was like, you know, a, a caveman in a computer lab. You know, I, I didn't have any idea, but I, I knew in my, in my intellectual awareness that this was a very advanced um, civilization or life forms or, or whatever they were, they, they were so far advanced from, from what we know here on Earth. And just by being in their environment and trying to grasp what I was seeing, I was hoping that I could absorb some kind of their intelligence. And then they said that they needed something else from me. And I said, well, what is that? And they said, we, we have lost the capacity that humans have that you call love. Um, and so I wasn't sure how I could just give this to them. So I, I reached across and it was suddenly I'm in the universe in this huge void with these beings on the other side. And I put out my hands in this incredible rainbow of pink light went between me and these entities. And I was trying to make it be like a white light, but it was this incredible pink light, this energy of love that we, this capacity of love that we as human beings have that I was trying to just send to them. And I felt like they received it and they were grateful. And um, they, they thanked me for this. And then I could feel that I was going back, but I wanted to see, I wanted to try to, I wanted to stay there. I felt like I wasn't ready to go back. There was so much more that I had to learn. And they told me they had things that they had to, te that they had to teach me. And they said that they had an awareness of me before I had even visited them, that they knew of me as an individual, as a person, um, before I had entered their realm, and they were glad that I was there. And, you know, feeling that the drug was, was leaving my body, that my consciousness was kind of like falling back into, out of deep space, back into my physical body, it was kind of a disappointment because I, there was so much more I wanted to learn. I wanted them to teach me. I wanted them to, to tell me what these gifts were that they had for humanity. So it was such a profound experience to have been out there in deep space. And, and I'm not the kind of person that would have expected this kind of experience. I mean, I would have expected if someone were to tell me you're going to take this, this drug that's going to launch your consciousness, I would have expected that I would see angels and fairies and not alien life forms. That's, I have no interest in that. That's not part of, you know, I've never liked science fiction. I've never been into any of those kinds of things. It's not, it's not part of any sphere of interest, but to be out there with these other life forms, this greater intelligence, uh, was absolutely astonishing. And then later in the day, this was first thing in the morning, and then later in the day, I had to be the chaperone on the first grade field trip for my son, and I'm looking at <laughs> the whole world from this different perspective. I have been out in the universe so far beyond this earth plane, and now I'm back here trying to integrate with the first grade class, you know, and the kids running around out of control. And then later on that night, my son, my oldest son graduated from high school. You know, this was a big day for me. <laughs> you know, I go out to the, to the ends of the earth, to the ends of the universe. I meet intelligent entities. 
um, I interact with them, we touch each other, and then I, I come back and here's my, my regular earthly existence, and what can I do, what can I bring back, how can I help the world know that there's so much more out there.